All right, hi. Hi folks, welcome back to uh, Physics with Captain Rod here. So the purpose of this video is just go through a quick numerical example of uh, a DC circuit involving some capacitors. And what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, imagine the switch closed and we're going to calculate the charge and voltage across each of these three capacitors that I have labeled here, C1, C2, and C3, uh, using the idea of equivalent capacitance. So before we do that, let's uh, color code the potentials here. I think that's a very um, valuable thing to do when dealing with any sort of uh, circuit problems. This is the positive terminal of the battery. This is the high potential side of the circuit. And this would all be at one potential because this is all conducting material. And remember from my IFAX video here, the conductor itself is an equipotential. Uh, once the circuit is closed, charge is going to shift in the circuit. Remember, the electrons are going to want to go in that direction and over here this way, giving us charge configurations that look like minus plus, minus plus, minus plus, and we'll call this one maybe Q1, and this one charge 2 here, and charge 3 on these three capacitors. So what we want to do now is take this system that has these three capacitors and simplify it down to something that maybe has just one capacitor. The first thing to notice is this pair, C2 and C3, these are in parallel. Now how do you know? You look at the voltages, red to black, red to black. Because they are in parallel, the equivalent capacitance for this system, the equivalent between 3 and 2, is just going to be uh, C3 plus C2. Two, which would be 25 microfarads. And that's just coming from the sum of these two because that's how capacitors in parallel are, um, that's how the equivalent capacitance for a parallel combination is found. So then what we do is we redraw our circuit. Here's C1 right here. In place of this parallel combination, we're going to put this animal here. I'll just put uh, C32 for now. And in place of the battery, I'll go ahead and just put the voltage symbol for the battery. And there's our circuit. I'm going to go ahead and move my color code over here. This is the high potential side of the circuit. Now, <clears throat> across this capacitor, there would be a drop in potential. So let's do this. I'll color code the new potential in orange. Now this would all be one potential because that's all conducting material. And then uh, we're to the low potential side of the circuit. All right. So what we've done here is we've simplified the circuit down from three capacitors to two. And I uh, should put the voltages on, uh, <coughs> on the battery there. All right, now moving on. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to take this and simplify it down to one capacitor. And this is a series combination. Oh, I should put the charges in here as well. Here's the charge Q1, right? And this is charged to that polarity. Here is a charge, let's call it Q32. It's the charge on this capacitor, which is the equivalent capacitance uh, of number three and two here. Now, <clears throat> these capacitors are in series. So to calculate an equivalence, what we'll do is we'll say uh, 1 over C equivalent is equal to 1 over this animal's capacitance, which is 20 microfarads, plus 1 over this one's uh, capacitance, which is 25 microfarads. Now, <clears throat> when you're doing calculations like this, don't worry about the micro part. Just treat it like a unit. Take your calculator and go 1 over 20 plus 1 over 25, hit equals, and then invert your answer because this is 1 over C equivalent. And the units will come out in microfarads. So somebody please uh, run that for me, 1 over 20 plus 1 over 25, hit equals and, and invert. <clears throat> Microfarads. All right, so 
The 11.1 microfarads is the equivalent of this series combination. Now we can draw a new circuit. And again, I like to color code all of them. Here's our high potential side of the circuit. <clears throat> Here's our low potential side. Um, this represents the capacitance of that system. Right, so here's the voltage of the battery. We have some sort of charge here. <clears throat> now this charge would be the, uh, the charge on the uh, system, on the equivalent capacitance of the entire system. Red to black, the voltage across here is the same as the voltage of the battery, so we can calculate this uh, charge easy enough. Now remember how capacitance is defined. Capacitance is defined as charge over voltage. So it's pretty easy to show that charge is equal to capacitance, 11.1 .1 microfarads, times the voltage, 12 volts. Now my advice here, don't worry about this 10 to the minus 6, just treat this like a unit. 12 times 11.1, .1, what does that work out to be? Something like uh, 133. Okay, 133 microcoulombs. Now the way the units work out, a farad is a coulomb per volt. So when you take a coulomb per volt times volts, you end up with coulombs. So what we have here is 133 microcoulombs on our make-believe capacitor here. Now, this value really is not really of any use to us yet. What we're going to do now is kind of backtrack through our pictures. So comparing these two pictures, this is a series combination. And this 133 here if we compare this, that means plus 133 on the right side, minus 133 on the left. And over here, that means th this charge right here is plus 133, and this one over here is minus 133 in this picture. So the charge, the charge here on 3-2 uh, together is 133 microcoulombs. The charge here on C1 is 133 microcoulombs. So far, so good. <clears throat> now what we can do, actually this animal's pretty well done. We know this one. Now we can start working on these guys. <clears throat> and the way we can do that, <clears throat> pardon me, let's calculate the voltage across this capacitor. Because we know the capacitance value, 25 microfarads, and we know the charge on it, 133 microcoulombs, we should be able to calculate the voltage from orange to red. And I'll do that over here now. So the voltage, I'll put 3,2 here. Let's see. This is how capacitance is defined. So voltage is charge over capacitance. So that's going to be 133 microcoulombs over the capacitance, 25 microfarads. Somebody give me 133 over 25. 5.3. Okay, 5.3 volts. So what we know now is that this voltage right here from yellow to red is 5.3 volts. That applies in this picture and it also applies over to here. Oops, I forgot to color code. I forgot to do that in my original, in this original picture here. There was a voltage drop from red to black forgot to do that. A little embarrassing. There we go. So <clears throat> the red to orange here was 5.3 volts in this picture. Red to orange, that's the voltage across here and here. So now what we can do is use that to calculate charges across these two capacitors. So Q, oops, charge 3 is going to be the capacitance uh, of capacitor 3, 15 microfarads, times the voltage, red to orange, which we calculated at 5.3 volts. Somebody give me 15 times 5.3. Uh, 79.5. 79.5 microcoulombs. Charge 2 can be calculated the same way. We'll take the capacitance of uh, capacitor 2, 10 microfarads, times the voltage, red to orange, which was the 5.3 volts. 
Could somebody calculate the um, 10 microfarads? Or just give me the, oh, I can do that. 53 <laughs> uh, microcoulombs. Remember, a farad is a uh, coulomb per volt. All right, the very last thing we're going to calculate here is we're going to use the charge that we found on C1 to calculate the voltage across a capacitor to one. I'll do this right here. So the voltage across one is going to equal, oops, I gotta go back and remind myself here. Let's see, that's capacitance is charge over voltage. So voltage is charge over capacitance. So that's gonna be charge one, which we calculated somewhere. 133 microcoulombs over C1, 20 microfarads. Let somebody give me 133 over 20. 6.65. 6.65 volts. Quick check against our work. Our voltage from black to orange plus the voltage from orange to red should equal the voltage from black to red. Would somebody please add 6.65 to 5.3? Got 11.95. 11.0, yeah, so uh, we got 11.95 volts when we add black to orange and um, orange to red, which is approximately 12 to, uh, rounded to three significant figures, it is 12. So uh, this is just uh, meant to be an example here of uh, how to analyze a, a circuit that's got multiple capacitors via using the ideas of equivalent, equivalent capacitance. Hope that this has helped uh, anyone watching this understand this stuff. Have a great day.